Hey everyone, Zane here, and today I'm going to show you now to fix shipping not available on Shopify. Now first you should open Shopify on your browser, then sign in into your account and go to the dashboards right here. And now we have to go to the settings. Now this problem may face some customers in specific regions. So in order to fix this, you have to change some options from your settings. Now first thing is to simply know the region of this customer. So you have to communicate with this customer, know his region, then open the settings to try to fix his issue. So now I will go to shipping and delivery and here, as you can see, you will find this page. In the shipping section right here, you will have this one, the general. You can also create a new profile for a specific regions, but here in my case, I'll demonstrate everything on the general shipping rates. So I'm gonna just click on it. And after that, it will show me here the shipping zones. And down below right here, it will show you the international. This is the international zone. When you click on 24 more, it will show you all the countries that is related to the international. Now you should see if this client's country exists here or not. And if it's not existing, you can simply click on edit zone right here and add the specific country that is not found in your zone right now. And after that, select the specific country for the customer. You can also click on add more countries, regions and markets. But once you check the country, you should click on done in order to save the changes. You can also add another region as we said, and you can simply click on add rate in order to change the rate of shipping. How much price will he pay for the shipping? Do you want to add a custom rate name? the shipping rate, the type of rate, do you want it a carrier or a flat rate? So if you click on carrier rate, it will use an app to calculate your rates. And you can also click on add conditional pricing. And this will show you the rate based on the item weight or the item order price. So you can simply set them according to the weight or price or simply add a flat rate. After you finish, you should click on done. And make sure when you add the countries at all the countries that are available just to spread your product and increase your popularity. And now this is the time for activation of the shipping in some countries. So you might do all these steps, but still you have the issue with the customer's country. And that's because you didn't activate the shipping in his country. So you have to click on go to markets. Then now we should go to international. And here, as you can see, we have the international actually inactive. So you have to click on it. And after that, you will have to click on the shipping right here at the countries. You can add a specific rate for each country. Now you need to do so, but you should head to the shipping again. Now I'll go to markets again, then go to international. And now I'm going to activate the shipping right here. So you have to click on this option on the top right corner. Then you will have to set it active. Now, once you click on active, you should click on save right here. And now the market is activated. Now, when you go back to markets here, as you can see, I have activated both shipping, the shipping to my primary country and shipping internationally. And he, it will show me that 208 countries or regions are not in any of your markets. You can simply click on it and add them if you need to add them. And that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, leave us a good comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video.